From the dusty basement of the horse stables of Pittsburgh's Oakland Police Station back in 1974 to their current studio on Pittsburgh's south side, WYEP 91.3 FM has come a long way since they first hit the local airwaves 30 years ago. Now, in that time, the independent public radio station has signed up more than 7,000 members. And as it celebrates a milestone, the staff says they remain committed to providing an alternative music choice for Pittsburgh. On Q's Mara McFalls reports. Hopefully you're ready for a little more music. On the way, we're going to hear from Keb Mo, also Joan Baez, as well as the Thorns. WYEP Pittsburgh, where the music matters. I'm Rosemary Walsh. You know, it's crazy. You turn on the radio, and it seems like every channel in every city plays the same set of music. It's like a, some more fallout from corporate consolidation. But there's an alternative here in Pittsburgh. It's called WYEP, and this year, it's turning 30. Hi, WYEP. YEP can avoid sounding like all the other stations because they're independent public radio, and it's the listeners that foot the bill. And that's the way we want it. I mean, if we, if there were a big sugar daddy out there giving us, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, it just wouldn't be the same. Or if we, you know, ran commercials, it wouldn't be the same because somehow that independence would be compromised. And this is a rare format for radio. And using a radio station to brand a product line is pretty common with like media consolidation. You know, someone makes the decision in another city and they give a playlist to one of their, you know, 100 or 200 radio stations and they say, you know, this format is your product and this is your, your product line must sound just like this with these songs. And at WIP, you know, all the decisions are made by uh, the staff. Just looking around at all of the CDs we have here, it's like a kid in a candy shop. In a, any given hour, you might hear a little bit of uh, folk music, a little bit of pop, some rock, reggae, bluegrass. It's um, really cool because we have a lot of freedom to mix genres. Local artists say they appreciate YEP's loose format and that it's really helped them grow as musicians. For me, YEP was my first window into what I would call real music from the heart, like real music created by real people, not like fabricated by producers like Top 40 was back in the 80s. For me and my growth and development as a musician and as a songwriter, it was the first place where I was exposed to women playing guitars, singing songs that they wrote. And it was really important to me at that time. YEP is so important on so many levels, especially during these times when there's such a silence, a silencing going on, and uh, you know so many radio stations are being bought out. You know, you feel like uh, there's not much avenue for different voices. The things that you hear on YEP uh, stimulate you as an artist or just as a person. It gets you thinking differently. Like mainstream music is. You know, just keeps the ball rolling, doesn't fire your soul up. And it's just great that, that places like YEP exist for, for people that aren't considered top 40 or, or mainstream. We know we've gotten to where we are right now, definitely with help from them. Loving music makes YEP special and makes them really shine as a radio station. YEP is known for mining the music industry for artists who aren't signed to big labels or whose music just doesn't fit into mainstream radio. Like Michael Franti of Spearhead, who was performing in the studio when we visited YEP. Michael Franti is a remarkable artist, is kind of the quintessential WYEP artist because just in his musical stylings alone, he does a little bit of hip hop, he does a little bit of uh, reggae, a little bit of folk music, some soul. Don't fear your best friends. Because the best friend never tried to do you wrong. And don't fear your worst friends. Because the worst friend's just the best friend that's done you wrong. He's an artist who's very politically active. Unfortunately, he's not played on very many other stations. We can bomb the world to pieces, but we can't bomb it into peace. Violence brings one thing. 
he's an intelligent, articulate, important voice for his generation and a new generation that's upcoming. Those kinds of voices need to be heard, and WIP is one of the few places we can actually find something like that. For the last 30 years, YEP has been filling the airwaves with music that's been missing from the rest of the radio dial. It's politically charged music, underground music, soul, folk, blues, rock, and they say you can expect that same commitment to the music for another 30 years. We can bomb the world into pieces, but we can't bomb it into peace. 91.3 WYEP Pittsburgh, where the music matters. And Mara says that the YEP will mark its 30th anniversary with the release of a set of three CDs filled with three decades of music from local and national YEP artists.